In problem number 13 of section 3.5, we're asked to evaluate the limit, if it exists, uh, as p goes to zero of the function natural log of p over p. Now, we would like to be able to use L'Hopital's rule, but if we see that if we evaluate, um, if we evaluate the expression at zero, uh, in the numerator, we get natural log of, well, limit as p goes to zero of the natural log of p is negative infinity. Uh, so, and then in the denominator, we get uh, that p goes to zero, which unfortunately is not one of the indeterminate forms for which we can use L'Hopital's rule. We need to have either plus minus infinity over plus or minus infinity or zero over zero. So, we'd have to uh, try a slightly different approach. And we'll notice that this is the same as the limit as p goes to zero from the right of the natural log of p uh, times the limit as p goes to zero from the right of one over p. And we know that neither of these limits exist. Uh, the, one, uh, the first limit tends towards minus infinity. And the limit on the right tends towards positive infinity. So in other words, the, if we uh, you know, get close enough to zero from the right, we can make this, um, we can make the absolute value of this number as large as we want, but it will be negative. And if we get close enough to p, similarly, we can make this number as large as we want, but it will be positive. So uh, the limit does not exist. Uh, Perhaps I should write this a little bit more precisely. Uh, implies that limit does not exist and tends towards uh, minus infinity. <laughs>